A very good afternoon to you at home. You'll find us uh, this afternoon uh, wrapping up uh, the celebrations here at the 60th anniversary of uh, Safari One. Uh, this is uh, the South African Fundamental uh, Research Installation One, the first of its kind, meant uh, really or more or less brought together in 1965. And you see various of those role players uh, coming into Pelin Daba today uh, to mark uh, this milestone. Earlier on, uh, we saw Minister Josienzo Ramohopa uh, giving a keynote address, also joined by the CEO. CEO of Nexa in reflecting on the 60 years of uh, this reactor. Here we're talking about a Safari One reactor uh, that is very active in the medical space and we see plans also afoot in terms of uh, how South Africa uh, then will move in building this multi-purpose reactor. The minister earlier on also announcing a 1.2 billion rand in investment that will come into uh, this particular space in helping Nexa uh, to set up uh, this new reactor that will come through to complement the work of Safari One. So here you find various of those role players, agencies of the department also here, the workers of Nexa also here in celebration along those that are here and what the minister also emphasized is the work of a scientist in helping to ensure that some of these molecular reactors and some of these issues, radioisotopes, uh, tend to find meaning, especially in the medical space. I'm going to bring uh, Professor Jan Rain with us in the conversation, a CFR, who joins us uh, this afternoon to really give us a sense of, as scientists, what have you been picking up? I know that there's a lot of work that is done at the Steve Biko Academic Hospital. At the same time, there's a lot of, of work that we see moving from the radioisotopes straight into the medical facilities. Welcome to the SABC. Maybe just particularize it for us. Uh, just break it down for us and give us a sense of this value chain and how really we tend to see uh, this medication. It's been lauded in healing ca cancer, I mean, in, in treating cancer and the likes and, and maybe give us a sense of how we find it uh, just finding its way in this medical facilities. Welcome to the SABC. Thank you. Um, yes, so um, what I think is important to uh, my colleague told you about the isotopes, and we produce isotopes, but isotopes need to get to patients, and in that process, you need to convert them to radio pharmaceuticals. So this means the radioactive molecule is tagged, all right, with the radio, with the pharmaceutical, and they become pharmaceuticals. But we've been selling radio pharmaceuticals, but they've been not tailored to our patient population and therefore we saw a gap there's a gap between what we produce here at Nexa and the medical uh, physicians that use these isotopes and are world-renowned and around 2015 the DSI Department of Science Innovation um, launched an infrastructure program where they funded a project called Numerai. It stands for Nuclear Medicine Research Infrastructure and that's housed at Steve Biko. It consists of a uh, of the, this gap which consists of preclinical which is animal testing of these pharmaceuticals and as I said these are pharmaceuticals that our patients our country needs. We develop them, we test them we then convert them to use for medical for humans, and they then moved on the third floors, um, where they are then tested in in humans by the physicians, and scans are taken. Note that there's a diagnostic approach as well as a therapeutic approach to these radio pharmaceuticals. So it's not only just to to image the problem, image the cancer, or image TB, or image malaria, it's also trying to treat that. And this is what, where the novelty comes in. This is where we are moving, and that's why the research space is so important in this area. So, Nimurai was co conceived by an idea, was incubated here at Nexa, and then it is now a fully fledged um, entity on its own, an own research uh, institution on its, in its own right, the house that Steve Biko, um, but it's got partner institution. Nexa is still a partnering institution, the University of Pretoria, Steve Biko, Itemba Labs is in a partnering institution, and all these things come together for the good of the patients to make new pharmaceuticals that are really necessary for our, our, own, our own patients. Mm. We see the economic benefits as well uh, to where we find ourselves. Some of these isotopes are finding their ways, not just in uh, medical facilities here at home, uh, but also globally. We hear uh, that really we're in the top four of those that would come through with some of the reactors like Safari One uh, that we experienced earlier on and the work that is being done there. Uh, so it, it does give us a sense 
sense that if there is more investments into research, as we had the minister talking about uh, some of the plans that are afoot here, uh, will then get the best out of some of these, uh, you know, research, some of these work uh, looking at the economy. Absolutely. So, um, as I said, um, the DSI heavily invested. So far, Numera has received 750 million rand from from the from from government uh, to make that building work. But all the scanners, it's all top notch, state of the art uh, equipment, and now it's the time to move our molecules that are designed in this, com in, in this country, which are unique, through the value chain from the bench, from the laboratory bench, all the way to the bench side. Bench side. And that's the aim. It's a one-stop shop. Numera is a one-stop shop um, for clinical testing, for drug testing, preclinical and clinical. We see young of those scientists that are here, uh, the minister also talking about how then we're looking at passing the baton. You are a scientist, you are a senior, you're a lecturer as well. Maybe do give us a sense of what is it that we pick up and how does the future look like of nuclear in the country with some of these young ones that we saw uh, forming part of this ceremony today? Yeah, so it's a really exciting time and space to be in the nuclear, especially nuclear medicine. It's internationally booming. It's not only here that we are. this is booming, it's booming internationally. And um, I've got many master students, PhD students, there's a lot of opportunities for uh, graduates to come into the field, do an MSc, do a PhD, and, and then learn the skill. It's a, it's, a, it's a highly skilled environment, but it certainly can be mastered. And this creates, in the end, will create jobs. And Numera already has created jobs. Uh, and, and that is definitely, if we can benefit, the isotopes that we're making can be the catalyst of benefiting um, um, more in pharmaceutical industry and also then the patient's benefit. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very good story. Uh, Professor uh, Jan, uh, thank you very much for giving us uh, your time this afternoon. Professor Jan Rain Sifat, uh, just coming through here, uh, giving us a sense and reflecting with us on uh, these celebrations here. Today, uh, we see some of those various role players taking stock and we see the minister as well saying that uh, there is a brighter future uh, where nuclear is concerned in the country, uh, looking at energy security, but also medical and pharmaceutical advancements and looking at also technologies that will be found in some of these spaces to help the country's economy 